hi guys welcome back to a new video today is going to be a vlog but it's going to be a vlog with a twist so i have been pondering on the idea for almost two years now to start speaking with some friends that i know and people that i know that run their own businesses and you know go into their space of work whether it's their offices their nail salons their hair salons and get a tour number one because you know i love a tour we've got to have tours on this channel and then i also want to have a good chat with them i want to find out how they got to where they are tips they can give other people aspiring to be in the industries they're in and that kind of thing i need your help you guessed it i need a name you guys i want to have a good name that sums up what this is all about i kind of want it to be like a inside someone's office or inside or what it takes or a tour of or I don't know I'm really not creative when it comes to names so you guys let me know in the comments I'm going to be heading to one of my friends businesses now this guy and I go way back we were so close back in the day and I'm so proud and excited about what he's currently doing and what his future plans are so he actually has a new office space and we're gonna go and tour that office space and we're gonna ask him all about his business in the music industry yeah, it's going to be fun. So if you like the sound of that, keep on watching. See you there. Hi, Daniel. Hey, Jay. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm not too bad. Well, yeah, this is our headquarters. Um, it's our brand new office opened two months ago. Amazing. Uh, this house is all of the AGM brands. AGM talent, as you can see there. Yeah. Throughout the other section. How long did it take to get this office looking like how it does? Oh, wow, man. Well, we actually officially were here since December. Okay. But um, it took three, four months to uh, finish the build. It was a completely empty shell. Really? Literally, like, there, was, there, was, there was nothing in here. And then, yeah, our builder done a great job. They're not an interior designer. Um, okay, hold on. Tell us about where we are. We're in AGM, the HQ. I want a tour, because you know, I always do tours on my channel, so please take us through the whole office. The AGM talent logo. Looks so good. And over there, the AGM agency. Okay. Um, Hi, guys. Oh, here's the lovely <laughs> Mary. Hi, Mary. Um, she recently joined us, and this is our wall of fame. Um, okay. Some, some, some guests who have popped in here um, over time, we hope to fill up the whole pillar with just pouring. Nice. Uh, picks. How um, many people are in the team? I think we've got nine people. Nine? But, you know, not everyone's full time, so. Okay. You know, we, we, we rotate the schedules a bit, but yeah, man, we're growing fast, so. Amazing. Teams. Here is our beloved, beloved. Wait, it's even branded. Machine. Yeah, yeah, it's got Asian <laughs> Sports Media and Entertainment logo on it, so wow. that's us, our production uh, division. Um, and yeah. Are you using this a lot? We've got a uh, colourful <laughs> selection here, as you can see. Um, people always comment on the price of the alcohol at the bottom, but don't worry about that. Yeah, that's a bit crazy. Yeah, 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 it is, it is. And then, yeah, I'm going to take you into our. So I didn't realise this was here, so this is really cool and hidden away. Yeah. You guys look, this is a studio. Yeah, be quiet. She's on a call, so Wow, look at that. Oh, this is like a booth, right? Out here, we had an artist who's an engineer. Oh, who's out there? Yeah, that's so cool. Cozy meat bags. What is upstairs? So, my, my private office. Okay, say, this is not finished yet. We're gonna have a glass handle on this side. Oh, and nice. Yeah, reasons. yeah, um, need to be you know, careful. We use socials on Fridays, and do you? Song. Yeah, this must be dangerous. Who is like most likely to fall down the stairs? It's probably me. <laughs> Glass doors. Nice. Yeah, and this is my COO. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, are you usually sitting up here working as well? Or do you like float around? You know, got like a Zoom call. Oh, yeah, it's nice and private. It's quiet up here so you can come here and just. Just work out. Work. This is one of my most favourite features of the office. Um, 
Wow, this is huge. Screen, Let's see, it. can I have a look? Yeah, of course, man. Of course, wow. Of course, of course, of course. You can see Liverpool Street, no? Where? Well, you have to do it from downstairs. From a different angle, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see the team down there. Of course, man. Working hard as usual, man. I like the industrial feel that it yeah, gives. Yeah. Can you tell us about this? Do you know what? It's one. I've got others I just need to pick up. There's quite a few. I okay. So all these walls will have Are going to have them filled. That's yeah, so, so these are good. The music campaigns which I've actually participated in. I've done quite a few other campaigns which I'm just waiting on my plaques for. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to. You're going to put them all across here? All the that is going to be so cool. It's going to be full before you know it. Yeah, yeah. I've got that three or four. So yeah, hopefully by the, by the end of next year, we'll have that. The whole wall. The whole wall. No, I love this. Wall this thing, is so it's nice. Perfect. Yeah, it looks really, really yeah. good. Yeah. Really good. I love the like. Yeah, the wall pattern is another feature. I have to shout out Levain Design. Who designed it? Levain. 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 So she's a really dope interior designer. Okay. She really brought the space to that. Cool. This looks really, really good. Nice. Look how high it goes, guys. We're going to sit over there. Yeah. So get comfortable. You ready? You're not hungry now? No, no, I'm hungry. Come in a bit. I'm a bit fat now, so I just need to no, make sure. No, you're not. Yeah, I mean, the wait. I'm going to put the camera as on tempo. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys have seen a nice tour of Daniel's office, so I thought I'd bring him on here so he can explain everything, tell you about his company and get into the details. So Daniel, tell us about AGM. What is it? <laughs> you want some more water? I it was indigestion. <laughs> From eating so fast. <laughs> AGM is a group of companies, yeah. um, you know, which came about two years ago. AGM yeah. Talent was our first company that we started. Yeah comprehensive talent management across the digital space, looking after influencers and other digital personalities. AGM Agency is our music marketing um, division. You know okay. me, I've always been in music marketing. Always, yeah. Years, so I thought it only made sense to service them out of the whole AGM uh, brand offering. Um, AGM Records um, is our label solutions. It's not a forward-facing brand, but okay. we do have AGM Records as we've got a distribution partnership. So we, we, we have a whole a and division. We put our music for quite a few okay. artists. Sports Media and Entertainment is our kind of production um, division. Um, so we create content, white label content for brands, for oh, athletes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, for athletes. When did you start doing artists. that? But for a while, we've actually got um, a, a game show coming out really soon for uh, a popular artist. So we okay. actually filmed that, that last week. How did this all start? Because mm. I've known you for years yes, course, course. when you were like contracting, working, yes, and then all of a sudden I used to see you just like doing bits and bobs on the side, yeah. and now it's this. Yeah. So tell us how it started. So it's been an interesting journey, if I'll be honest with you. I've always, so I worked for a music platform, Mixtape Man, so I was there for like eight years. Um, that was. Um, company that I was just working out of passion. I love music, you know, and I love marketing. So I was the head of marketing over there, so working with a lot of artists on their, you know, on their marketing campaigns, uh, brand partnerships, and then my, my day job was actually working in media and advertising mm -hmm. for like global agency networks. So I kind of kind of merged the two worlds yeah, together. Yeah, you got the skills sense. from of both. Course, of, course, so of course, of course, of course, of course. So, yeah, when, 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 as you know, I was, I was contracting for a while just so I could figure out yeah. how I'm going to kind of put this all together. You know what I mean? And um, the contracting really helped kind of going into other agencies and other spaces to kind of learn about their structures and use, use those learnings. I was going to say, like, how has COVID affected you? Yeah, Positive to, or negative? To be fair, it can never be, well, I was going to say... Obviously, COVID, yeah, we know that yeah, it's not a good yeah, thing, yeah, but in yeah, terms yeah. of, like, business, has it had a positive or... It's, I would say, it's, it, I would say, you know, you know, business has grown significantly yeah. during this period. You know, I think with service and talent, you know, irrespective you know, of, of things being open or not, you know, there's, you know, there's content to be created, there's music to be released. So, you know, our kind of, you know, customer base, you know, uh, still has to remain active yeah. irrespective of what's going, what's going on. on. So I want to know some of your career highlights since having this business. What are some of the things oh. that you really are proud of? I remember one of the, the um, First campaigns I worked on um, within AGM was um, with Puma. Okay. Um, that was quite a few years ago, um, and then from there we've, we've done quite a few brand partnerships um, with artists, several brands. 
you know, because our whole thing is trying to bring culture and brands together. Um, with talent, you know, I've got I've had some great talent. So, so I've got a makeup artist called Benicia who's doing really well. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, so she, I remember she was featured on Forbes, which was a great wow. highlight for us a couple of years ago. And then she's just gone from strength to strength. Artists like Emma Honcho, Nick Smalls, um, Diggity, Potter Paper, and some digital marketing with his management amazing. team. Amazing. Um, and, and, you know, done some stuff with some some labels out in Nigeria as well. Okay. Mm. What are the future plans then? Are you trying to go global? What are you yeah. what do you foresee? Yeah. I would say we're we're already global. You already uh, are. You know, you know, one thing that we do do is talent scouting. So we work with brands all over uh, all across the world, okay. you know, Yahoo, um, you know, oh, on, yeah. on, on, on a so big remember, talent yeah. scouting initiative as well. Uh, which was so you're already global? I would say we're global. So what is the aim then? For the next like couple of years, what's the big you know, thing that? What, yeah, next? I think you know we're still in our journey. You know, I think we're still kind of you know trying to brand ourselves in the right way because we do so much. Yeah. We're trying to kind of show the great works we do in the most simplified way possible. Yeah. Um, you know, just build on build on our client base. You know, trying to get more talent in the doors, in the doors, um, bigger campaigns, bigger activation, and grow this team. I've got an amazing team so far, and I think. The more we can build on that, the more people I can get in here, the more creative minds we can have in here, the more, the more energy and, and, and growth we can get from, from just the people who are in this space. Already here. Exactly, exactly. So I'm looking forward to that, man. I don't want to say world domination, but. If I can yeah, do say it, shout it. it. Like, world domination. I was saying this. Remember, you guys saw it here. Yeah, because I, I, worked, I worked with quite a few big advertising networks. If you know what. That the media and advertising game, you know, there's there's like a top five or top six. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got like the WPPs and the Omnicoms and the publicists and the Densu groups. And you know, I really want to help build like you know uh, a black-owned uh, advertising and media network. And this is what we're doing with so much subdivisions and and, and, and sub brands. Um, we're building a network, you know, uh, a black-owned media and Amazing. advertising network, which. Which is great, you know, because it's not something that I've personally seen before. Probably out there, but no. I personally haven't come across. And it. and if they ever do in this industry, they don't usually go. They can't usually get that far, exactly. which is a shame. So you've already taken things a step further. Of course, already. of course. Thank right, my know. last question, because there might be someone watching who may be thinking like, I want to do what you do. Of course. Yeah. Any tips? Do they yeah. need to study this? What was your take on it? Yeah, it's, for me, honestly, you know, I, like coming out of uni, you know, I fell into media and advertising. You know, it's not something that I loved, but I learned a lot. And the experiences yeah. I had there, I was able to combine it with my passions for music and entertainment, mm -hmm. and it allowed me to, to build this place. So I'm grateful for my nine to five experiences. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to achieve this without working in that in those industries, yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Because it gave me I the agree. ideas and the vision. Although I never liked what I was doing in some of the companies I worked for. Yeah. The education and the experience was, was priceless. So you'd say like getting the hands on experience in a company hands -on to start experience, with. Yeah. Hands on experience is, is good because it's just good to understand how to do even basic things, how to respond to briefs, how to present decks, the service agreements, how to put together a market and their media plans. I'm not saying you can't do on the fly, but it would be it would be best to if get you that. Had that experience. Yeah. You're only as good as the people that you know are, are, are alongside you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think you can't do anything by yourself. Yeah. That's the one thing I've learned. You, know? you can't take yeah. things yeah, you need, the you, step further without you, 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 you yeah. need to go on a journey with, with people who are aligned and about yeah, what about. I agree. So, lastly, then, where can everyone like follow your journey, follow what you're doing? Yes, yes, yes. So my, my, my Instagram is AGM Dan. I believe it's the same on Twitter. It might have an underscore. If not, it's the same okay. thing. Um, and then we have AGM Talent and AGM Agencies Instagram pages. We will be merging both accounts. Actually. Okay, make it um, easier. To, to make it money, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, you can find me there. Find him there, see what he's doing, see who his clients are. Yes. Are you looking for more people in the team or you're oh, good? I feel good. You know, you're good, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 so sorry guys. People now, but yeah. you know, one thing we do, we're big on education, we train okay. courses. Amazing. You know, master classes. If you guys did like this tour and interview, let me know in the comments and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Thanks, Daniel. I was like, you. Yeah. Well, okay. oh. Hi,
Daniel. Thanks for having us. <laughs> we'll do it again, it's alright. <laughs>